Hello guys, welcome to the first tutorial. Uh, in the series we will learn how to select enemies and this we will click on an enemy and it will print out enemy selected and from there we will develop how to show the heart of so the first thing we will do is create the enemy. Let's make a 3D object, it could be a cube and let's place the cube over here and let's put a material on it so create material call it enemy make it red make a new folder call it materials open the folder make a folder call it test material put the enemy into the materials put it into test enemy put it on the cube like that then we need two scripts we will make a new folder here called combat and the first script we will call let's see uh, player combat I make another script called enemy target great let's open up our scripts So we have the player combat script and enemy combat script and also let's open up our player control script. Right. So first we have to start using namespace. So or at least I like to use namespace. So namespace we will call it RPG combat this we will make these brackets we will take all of this to the namespace we will also do the same over here so namespace rpg combat and take this inside here okay so this um script is actually just a placeholder for the enemy so let's put that on to the enemy and rename this to enemy at the enemy script like this take the player at the combat script like this let's go into the player script again So in so in the player combat we can you make a new public void select enemy and call it enemy target target and in here we can say print so we can see if we target it uh, print enemy selected like this after that, go into the player controller, close uh, all of this, so we know what we got. It's like this. So let's make a new void. We can do here on the local motion void interact with combat this and then we can what we need to think about is that inside our unity product we need to like click on the enemy so we need to make sure that we somehow store all the things the mouse is clicking on so we will have to make a raycast so we say raycast hit and we could we have to store all the things it hits uh, so we need to use that later so we say physics and then we say waycast all and what we need to be aware of is that we have to make like a method to get everything the mouse get the mouse hit so we need to say void uh oh wait actually it's using private static ray and call it the 
get mouse hit ray and in here we say return camera dot main dot screen point ray and say input the mouse position so this one will get what the mouse is clicking on and we will up here take all the things it hits so let's say uh, get mouse ray like this and let me say for each, uh, it's actually okay, hits and hits, like this, reads of all of them, go through them, and let's see if it finds a, a hit dot transform dot get component, let's see, I call it enemy target, and you see there's like a red line under here. It's because we need to take the namespace. So we need to say using RPG combat. So now we are using the RPG combat from over here. And then we can get the script. And then we can call this one enemy, uh, sorry, enemy target and call it target. I say the target is equal to hit the transform. And then we say the if target is equal to null, then continue, go through all the hits. If input get mouse button down zero, get component, oops, sorry, get just and let's take the player combat with selected enemy target. So if the input hits a component with the player combat on, um, it will use the select enemy target. So on this one, we have the select enemy target, which we called, and then it will print out uh, enemy selected. So we can try that out. Um, so let's go into the game, and we click, and it's a enemy selected. So now we can see what targets we hit. Um, this enemy is now selected. In the next video we will start to build on to that one, but this is a start for selecting the targets.